Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk today about teaching peace and, and how we all teach peace. It's fundamental to the study and practice of A Course in Miracles, and let's just say, because it's true, that it's fundamental to spirituality in general. It is. Much is made in the spiritual realm, and I'm not simply talking about this course, I mean everywhere, about belief. Do you believe this? Do you believe that? Do you believe that this happened exactly the way these people said it happened? Or do you believe that this happened exactly the way these people said it happened? Or do you believe neither of them or both or whatever? Right? And so much is made about that. Yet what is really important here is not to lose sight of the fact that spirituality is about experience. It's about experience. It goes way beyond simply believing that this did or didn't happen or that did or didn't happen. It's about practical experience, day-to-day, -day, moment to moment. So the essence of all of it is in our practical application. It is in our practical application that we learn. It is. And this is something that A Course in Miracles states over and over again in different ways. So that we get it, pretty much. I mean, the concept, as all of these concepts are, are, are actually quite simple. This concept is simple. Yet we choose to ignore it, deny it, and go off and complicate our lives. We don't have to. You don't have to do that. This is about practical experience. When we put these teachings into practical moment-to-moment -moment experience every day, our experience shows us that they're true. We learn by doing. Our experience shows us, demonstrates to us that these ideas are true. We, in effect, prove them to ourselves. By doing them, you learn this course by doing. Is intellectual understanding of these concepts important? Sure. But it is nothing compared to doing the actual work of forgiveness and teaching peace. Teaching your brother peace, his guiltlessness. That is where it's at, so to speak. It's where the action is. So here in chapter 14, section 5 of the text, which we're on today, it's a really, really beautiful passage of this course that I invite you to read, and to the extent that you're inspired to do so, and called by our inner teacher to rinse, repeat, to read it again and again, it's called the Circle of Atonement, and its message is one of peace and inclusion, as you might expect from the one that dictated this course, Jesus. It's a message of peace. It's a message of inclusion, and we're invited to join him in teaching peace to our brother. The image that's used here is a circle, a circle of perfect purity, of safety. Of course, there is no circle because that implies that there's something outside the circle, but let's roll with the metaphor that he uses here for teaching purposes. I mean, you have to throw that non-dual humor in there, don't you? Humor's good. The Holy Spirit loves it. It's one of his strongest, strongest qualities, and one of the best forms of healing in it. This 
circle of atonement is safe and everyone is included. Again, there's no circle because that would imply that there's an inside it and an outside it, which of course isn't true. Everyone is involved because there is only perfect oneness. And here's the message. This is what's germane here. No one is excluded. No one is excluded from guiltlessness and perfect purity. So here in the world, we think we're guilty of separating from God. We are not. It never happened. And it's impossible that it ever could have happened. So what do we do? We teach our brother guiltlessness. We share the Holy Spirit with our brother. And by that, of course, I mean every single living thing. And without excluding anyone or any group of people. That's right. It means it's all inclusive. It's total. Because reality is total, isn't it? So people ask, and this is a good practical question. It's really good because we find ourselves in all of these complicated situations. So it is a legitimate question to ask ourselves and to ask the Holy Spirit. There's a message in that, isn't there? Ask the Holy Spirit, ask your inner teacher how to teach peace, because we're not sure sometimes what to do. Now, the deal here in the world is that, well, we all appear to be different human beings. We all appear to be separate. We're not separate. But we all appear to have different stations in life. What you're watching right now is my own personal mandate, dictate, I don't know, call it what you will, invitation, soften it if you want, instruction. This is my own learning program, turning on the camera and microphone and sharing the Holy Spirit with you. Yours may look very different depending on who you are, depending on where you live, depending on what you do for work or your gender or your age or your own proclivities. Perhaps you are very, very energetic and active and, you know, sitting down in front of a camera and microphone is not your thing. Not a problem. Because there appear to be 8 billion of us, there can be even more than 8 billion outward forms of teaching peace. The content, the essence of it is exactly one and the same. It's teaching your brother his guiltlessness. So how do you show him this? Well, there are many ways. I mean, this is one way. There are many ways, including something as simple as smiling at your neighbor and wishing your neighbor good morning. Yeah. There are things that we're called to actively do. There are things we're called to type out and write and publish on the internet or in a book. There are things we're called to say. There are things we're called to do that don't involve speech at all, such as showing up with a smile and a loving presence. Is that not sharing the Holy Spirit with your brother? Of course it is. There are many different ways to do it, and what we are invited to learn to cultivate is this relationship with our inner teacher, who's part of our mind, that will show us what to do in every situation for maximum loving, joyful benefit for every single living thing throughout space and time, without exception, because there are no exceptions. And he will show us what to do in these situations, all of them, if only we allow him. There's a powerful message in this. This is something that we all must learn to allow our inner teacher to guide us. The ego resists this, 
very strongly, doesn't it? Of course it does. And if you're experiencing resistance, that is perfectly natural on the spiritual path. In fact, it's part of it, because what we're doing is we're learning to see through all the drama and BS and the veneer and set the ego aside. So naturally, there's going to be some resistance along the way. That's the ego that's resisting, and it itself does not even exist. There is not and has never been any separation of any kind. So anything that shows up here as individuality, as us against the world, as one group against another or you against someone else is in fact illusion. It isn't true and we're invited to see that. So how do we learn the truth of perfect oneness? Well, we extend love to our brother. We teach our brother through many different means that he's guiltless. The Son of God is forever guiltless. The separation never occurred. We're invited to accept the atonement for ourselves. Central to this is the acknowledgement that indeed the separation never took place. It's impossible that it ever could have occurred. We acknowledge this and we connect with our inner teacher who shows us what to do to share him, to share his love with our brother. This is why in this video series it comes up pretty much every day, doesn't it? It's, it's kind of funny in a way because I never know what is going to appear to come out of my mouth. Yeah, we're looking at certain passages of the text or certain questions that people ask. So there's some sort of a general framework for these discussions, but the actual words themselves, who knows what's going to happen. I don't know. I just turn this thing on and see what comes out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the way that this works. There's a message here for all of us. And one of the themes that comes up the most is learning to relax and trust the guidance of our inner teacher. We're invited to join Jesus. He invites us in this section of the text to join him in teaching peace, to join him in teaching our brother his guiltlessness, his perfect purity. As the son of God, the extension of God, yes, of course, we're perfectly pure and whole and total. What else would we be? Now, my hope in offering this conversation is that it strikes a chord somehow. Part of what we were just talking about, my not knowing exactly what is going to be said on any given conversation, is the fact that I don't know what message you needed to hear today. It's likely that I've already said it because my intentions to start winding this video down, but it, perhaps I haven't. The message of our inner teacher is constant for all of us, and each one of us will pick up on certain things. And when something lands, when it resonates, when you have one of these aha moments or something just strikes you really, really hard, and perhaps you even resist it, Perhaps you deny it completely, but it sticks in your mind. That, that's your inner teacher. The sticking in your mind so that you come back to it again, which you will. Huh? Huh. Isn't, that, isn't that exciting? It's our inner teacher that's bringing us back again and again. Resistances of the ego. Yeah, anything that's not wholly joyous is, in fact. And along the way, our inner teacher has messages for us. So I don't know what that may be for you today, but you'll know it when you recognize it for sure. There will just be something that rings true 
for you that sticks with you. So join me, will you? Join us in extending love to our brother. Join us in teaching our brother his guiltlessness and teaching perfect peace. Thank you. So along these lines, if you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer those questions, whether it's about A Course in Miracles specifically in the framework, the thought system of this course, or spirituality in general. Please feel welcome to leave these questions here. And if you have not yet subscribed, I invite you to do that. Here's the prompt in the corner of your screen. When you click that arrow, you'll be invited to subscribe and join us. So please do that. We'd love to have you. There are several videos that appear each week. And again, questions and comments are more than welcome. Even if you just want to pop in and say hello, I'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you, as always, for joining me.